community of tens of thousands of Muslims here in Israel, and his words are truly remarkable. He did not join us in person because of the risk to his life and the risk to his family's life. So many people have come forward to stand today, some at very, the very peril of their own lives. In fact, to read the letter that you are about to hear, we had several people back out at the last moment because they were rightfully afraid for their life or the life of their family. The Middle East is a very dangerous place. This morning I found a man that was willing to read this letter. He is a friend. He is Jewish. His name is David Broad. He is the head of John Hagee's Christians United for Israel. John Hagee has become a good friend of mine in the recent months as well. John Hagee has been a man who has been shot at multiple times, has had neo-Nazis march on him, his windows and his car and his house broken out because he refuses to sit down. David. David is also a man who has been relentlessly criticized, even among his own people in his Jewish community, for his belief and his conviction and his willing, his willingness to stand with others. Yet he is standing strong nonetheless. Here to read this amazing letter is David Brown. And may God bless you, Glenn Beck, for gathering us here in this holy city today at this critical hour. Thank you so much. This is the letter from Sheikh Abu Khader al Jabri of Hebron. The Sheikh says as follows, You are to be congratulated for arranging a rally such as this, consisting of Jews and Christians together standing for Israel. Courage is a great virtue praised by the Quran, praised by the Jewish Bible, and praised by the Christian Testament. Courage is different from physical strength, which is external strength, the strength of physical power, the strength of military might. Courage is internal strength, the fortitude of the spirit, the deep love of the heart. Courage prays to turn enemy into friend and to walk with him arm in arm in peace. I, Sheikh Jabari, greet you this evening with the courage of a loving friend. So does my Quran ask me to look upon you, and so does my heart and soul feel connected to you. Jew and Muslim are both children of Abraham, and we are all children of one God. May we truly walk arm in arm in peace together and bring our united God, the God of the universe, to the entire world in peace. Seculistupidist.com, conservative.com, rightosophy.com.